Good afternoon, my beautiful friends. I know I told some of you that SPA will be the very next video I do, but I woke up this morning to a very pleasant surprise and I just wanted to share the great news. Okay, so I went to my website and I checked the developer news, which I do on a daily basis. And I see there's a piece of news from the consortium, the first public working draft of Web Animations Level 2. And I clicked it. Then I clicked on the draft and look at this. Now what this means is it's not a recommendation yet. And you can see at the bottom it says, this spec is not ready yet for implementation. It exists in this repository to record the ideas and promote discussion. Now this is what I am super excited about is that as I'm looking through it, I see things that are very intriguing and exciting to me, which is timelines, animations, setting the timeline of an animation, setting the target effect of an animation, waiting for the associated effect, validating a CSS number-ish time, setting the current time of an animation, setting the start time of an animation, playing an animation, pausing an animation, canceling an animation, then you have speed control, animation effects. <laughs> this is so cool. So basically what's happening is we're making a big step in the right direction when it comes to getting back to what we used to be able to do on the web with tools like flash and other things and what this will do when it is a recommendation that is standardized in all the browsers means we're gonna have a lot more creative freedom and it'll be a whole lot easier to do and we can do all of these things now but this is going to make it a whole lot easier and more standardized now, as we scroll on down through here, we can see all kind of information explaining what's being proposed. And we have some code examples, which is JavaScript. And there's all kind of diagrams and illustrations that show the concepts and the logic behind what's being created here by the powers that be. So I'm just super excited about all of this. And I wanted to be one of the first to let you guys know what's coming. And you can rest assured that when I get time and when it evolves a little bit further to where we can start experimenting well, I'm going to be delivering a ton of tutorials because this is one of my favorite aspects of development is animation rigging, timeline of animation, keyframes, and all of those cool things. So I am so excited about all this. And I hope you guys are too because I'm definitely going to be creating some video tutorials revolving around all of this implementation. I'll read the abstract real quick. This specification defines a model for synchronization and timing of changes to the presentation of a web page. This specification also defines an application programming interface for interfacing with this model and it is expected that further specifications will define declarative means for exposing these features. Then down at section 2 here it says changes since level one this specification introduces the following changes compared to the previous level of this specification group effects and sequence effects an animation effect specific playback rate support for non monotonic scroll timelines very cool so that means the powers that be are providing us with a better means of grouping effects sequencing effects, the timeline of effects, and playback rate, and then support for non-monotonic timelines. Let's look at the definition of monotonic. Mathematics, varying in such a way that it either never decreases or never increases. And I also wanted to show any of you that might still be around here towards the end of the video, because I know most people just watch a little bit of the beginning, then they click away. That's what my analytics shows anyway. But if any of you are still watching, it's uh, I want to show you my new layout at the site. And what it is is a flexbox layout where this design that you see changes size and it's responsive. And then when we get down to mobile users, it changes for the mobile users. But on the desktop or laptop version, it's really cool looking. And so this is what my new homepage is going to look like. We've got some new graphics.
And I'm going to be putting some new sections into the site and new features pretty soon. I might even start a blog. And I'm going to add my docs back to... Uh, I don't know if any of you remember, at Develop PHP, I had a docs section where I had an HTML manual and guide. And then I had a CSS manual and guide. And I was working on my JavaScript and PHP guides, which are all text-based. And I'm going to add them back to adamcorey.com and get them fixed up and then make them public. And you can see the search is out of the main menu now and it's here on this little bar. You click that and the search opens up. And here's the donation area. And check out my little programmer helper worker bots up here. And it's a nice homage to develop PHP where we have the hard hat. You can see each little robot. Let me see if I can zoom in on them. See the little robots have the hard hats. That was the logo for developphp.com. And I moved all of my, migrated all of my material to adamcorey.com because I didn't like having PHP in my domain name because it might mislead a lot of new people to thinking that the site was solely focused around PHP, which it wasn't. It was, I actually had more JavaScript tutorials at develop PHP than I did PHP tutorials. So I wanted to migrate all my material to adamcorey.com and this is where I'm going to keep it from now on. But check out the little bots. This guy's holding a little cog. This guy's holding another component. And actually that cog fits right on top of that little component right there. And they're discussing it or thinking about it. Then on this side over here, this little guy has a wrench and this other little guy is holding up a tablet showing him what needs to be done. So I just thought those were cool little engineer type graphics that you guys might appreciate. Anyway, I'll get back at it and you can get back at it and we'll talk soon. Alright, bye bye.